All right, you guys, welcome back to another video. This Today's video is going to be a follow-up on Basil, which we put a video up of this dog a couple of videos ago, introducing her to my own personal dogs. And in today's video, I'm going to be uh, socializing her with her housemate, Garibaldi. Now, these two dogs have been fighting at home. In the previous video, I did put up a video of Basil attacking a couple of the other dogs in the home, but the fights were so severe with Garibaldi that both dogs actually came into me on a muzzle. So for safety, we're gonna be uh, showing you these two dogs together. Both dogs will be wearing muzzles. You will see there are times when both dogs are trying to kind of rub the muzzles off the ground and stuff like that, but it's not too severe. But these dogs are, uh, like when they came in, it was definitely brought to my attention that these two dogs are having a really hard time being around each other. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show this video to you guys. There's not going to be uh, too much commentating over the video. Um, I'm not going to be uh, doing too much narrating. We're just going to record these dogs together. There's a couple of moments where I do try to excite one of the dogs and pet one of the dogs. But outside of that, that's not really my intention. My intention is to just observe them together, see how they feel about each other, and ultimately determine what the trigger is for these dogs to be fighting at home. Now in my other video, I did briefly mention that it looks like this is a, a possessive problem or a resource issue uh, with the owner, with Basil. And after talking a little bit with the owner, that's still probably likely the case, but we got to get a different perspective. It's nice to be able to get these two dogs out of their home environment where this problem is actually happening, put them in a neutral environment, which would be my place, and see how they feel about each other. So before I get into the video, I should probably introduce myself. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Anthony Holcomb. I'm a professional dog trainer here in Tucson, Arizona. Been training dogs for 13 years, primarily focusing on helping folks deal with aggression in their pet dogs. And that's me in a nutshell. Not going to go too deep into that. But without further ado, let's get right into the video.
Hey, baby. All right, you guys, now after watching that video, you can kind of see that Basil and Garibaldi actually enjoy each other's company. They do want to play with each other. And it's very clear now after having Basil hang out with my own personal dogs and hang out with our housemates here in my home that she definitely has a possessive problem. She can, has a tendency to want to guard things like water, food, toys, and even the owner. Now you may wonder why would the dog want to guard the owner? Why would Basil want to keep attacking other dogs when they come too close to the owner? And this is often mistaken as protectiveness, that the dog is protecting the owner. But what's really happening is the dog is possessive over the owner. The owner is a source of feeling really good through the act of petting. When we pet our dogs, that feels really, really good to them. You can usually see it in their face that when we're massaging on them, you can tell by their facial expressions that that feels really, really good. And for a lot of dogs, it feels so good, it's worth protecting. And that can be a problem in some dogs. It's far and few in between. Usually the dog has a possessive problem over things like toys or food or bones or something like that. But we do see it happen with owners as well. And it's very clear that after talking to the owner, this is the problem. So now that we understand what the trigger is, uh, most of the work has to happen back at home with the owner of these dogs. So we hope you enjoyed the video. We hope you enjoyed the content. I think the big thing for me is to really get people to understand dogs a little bit better through body language, through interaction, and above all else, we wanna make sure that this content is educational in nature. So if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. Also in the description, you can find links to follow us on social media. Until next time, we'll see ya. Peace.